going on everybody? Today on the channel we're going to check out all the amps, pedals, and effect racks I use. First on the list is the Boss Katana Mach 2. I bought this amp specifically for the simplicity. Uh, everything's built in from the effects, distortions, noise gates, it's all in here. So this will help out for touring and for live shows if you don't have a lot of space on the stage. Uh, if you don't have to have pedal boards. I mean, it can't, you can use a foot switch, which I don't have yet, uh, but it's all built in. Uh, I'll do a video on this later about uh, the tones I use and how I set my dials and all that. So that's one amp. Up next is the Orange TH30. I use this in Blue Jay and the Pigeons for the simplicity of it. It just has two channels, dirty and clean, and the vintage wattage. Uh, that band is kind of a throwback band, if you will. So this amp can go from either 7, 15, or 30. And uh, the clean channel is insanely loud to where I wish the gain channel was just as loud, but the amp does what it needs to do. Up next is this little tiny box, the Seymour Duncan Power Stage 120. I use it as a backup for both of these amps uh, because you can easily plug in a 4x12, which I have here, and the input jack here, I can just plug my Digitech GSP 1101 preamp straight in, and there you go. So, uh, I love the simplicity because it has three knobs for EQ and one volume. That's it. So, little awesome tiny beast in case something breaks. Uh, I will use it at home sometimes if I want to use the if I don't want to run the preamp through my monitors. I'll just crank it through here and use that. So, Seymour Duncan Power Stage 120. Up next are wah pedals, because what guitar player would not be complete without a couple wah pedals? I am proud to say that uh, as of February, this, this past uh, February, I am a Morley artist. I want to thank Bill and Pete for taking the time to check out my stuff, let me demo your gear, and sign me on. So, as you can see, I have three Morleys. I have the Michael Amott wah, which just hit a thousand views, so thank you everybody for checking that out. And nice, nice little metal blood splatter. and. Even with these lights hitting me, you can tell that these glow in the dark very nicely. I have the Morley Lead Wah, which I know in previous videos I said the Wah Lock is my favorite, but this is now my favorite uh, Wah pedal. I've been using this on so much stuff as of late, so please get a Lead Wah. And then the Wah Lock. So those are my Morley Wahs. And from Blast from the Past, uh, before I joined up with Marley, I was using this. This Dunlop Crybaby 5, um, not 535, that's the older one. This is the 95Q. Uh, again, all, no pots. That's what I like about my Waz. No dirty pot. No one wants, no one wants dirty pot. So, uh, yeah, this is retired. Um, obviously since I'm now with Morley, but I retired this a couple months before I got any of these just because I think this one in particular may have been a custom that I think the store accidentally sold me because... Leave in the comments below, if you will, that I don't remember these ever having phasals in them. I've seen a bunch where they just have the green switchboard underneath. This one's all red with a red phasal. I don't remember these having that. So maybe I got a limited run or I got someone's custom order by mistake. Uh, so this is retired and I'm now a Morley artist. So these are my was. Up next are the Horizon Devices products I own the Nano Attack and the Precision Drive. Uh, this is the Tokyo limited edition one. This was, I think, 225 out of 1,000. And this is the Nano Attack, which you don't see a lot of footage about this guy. Uh, they have this one and the, I, it's called the Apex preamp, I believe, but this is the secret sauce to most of the Cannon Brigade tones. I, I plug this into the front of the, the Digitech preamp off to the side, and this just adds so much for such a little tiny thing. Uh, sometimes I'll throw it on the orange amp. Uh, I can't say good enough about things. I have a comparison demo of this already. Uh, it's somewhere on my channel. I might be able to find it. Uh, you can hear me say the name wrong <laughs> consistently through the video. It's pretty funny. Um, I'll demo this soon because I haven't seen much uh, of this on the internet except for like Ola. Uh, he did a demo of it. So anyway, Nano Attack, that's my favorite. So these are my boosters uh, that I'll sometimes use, but for the most part I don't because the amps that I have 
already have enough built in, but it's nice that I can grab these in case I want something more. And lastly, we have the TC Electronics Polytune 3 and the SMG Cockblocker Noise Gate. I want to thank my wife Chrissy for buying this pedal for me for Christmas. It is 533 out of 1,000. It's a noise gate. It does what it does. Same thing with the tuner. And finally, I know we didn't film it because it's already set up and it's not in anywhere the, the lighting perimeters, but my Digitech GSP 1101 preamp is right off to the side here. That's been the main tone of the Brigade for the past three years. Uh, I know this wasn't the most exciting video in the world because you didn't get to hear any of the stuff uh, that I was showing off. Um, however, you can hear uh, the, the preamp and the nano attack in older videos, such as the March playthrough, Jeff Loomis pickup challenge, and any other background music you may hear uh, was used with that particular setup, including the Morley uh, demos as well. Uh, I want to thank everybody for just watching the videos right now, and I got some new subscribers. Thank you. I know my Animal Crossing video uh, is getting some traffic. Uh, my wife and I, we're going to do more of that. Um, because it's something new to us anyway, and it seems to be what people are, are going to in this um, sad time of quarantine. Uh, this would be the time that, in a, I don't want to say perfect world, but um, I would be getting better on my guitar and putting up more videos almost every week. Uh, but I have an essential job, thankfully, so I still have to go to work uh, eight hours, uh, five days a week. So that's why I don't have consistency in my channel because I still have to work. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I think the next one is going to be um, the Boss Katana Mach 2. Uh, I'm going to do a blind test to see if I can get a good HM2 tone versus an actual HM2. And uh, oh, I, want, I do want to touch on one thing. Uh, I had some teaser things on Instagram about Morley Combat, which is the Amot Wah versus the Lead Wah, uh, my friend Aaron and I did. We were going to film, but then the pandemic happened, and we really can't film outside, especially now since we're in Albuquerque and it's hitting like 90 degrees, uh, even at, at 6 o'clock, and uh, we can't really film outside in the, in the high heat. So Aaron and I are going to try to figure out how to do this video still, because the music's finished. We just have to figure out how we're going to film each other uh, battling it out via wah and guitar. So we might... I don't want to say make fun of the situation, but we might do it via Zoom. <laughs> we don't know, but that video is still in the works. We just have to figure out how and when we're going to film it. So in the meantime, I'll do little uh, videos here at home. So anyway, that's next. Boss Katana Tone versus the HM2 Tone. Um, thanks again. Hit that uh, subscribe. Hit that bell. We'll see you next time.